Welcome to the video guys. Today is Tuna Fest at Brands Hatch. My first time to Brands Hatch. Is it your first time to Brands Hatch? Yeah. Yeah. So I got George behind the camera, so you'll see him at some point in the day. It is, what time is it? 10 past seven in the morning. We're gonna drive over, it's about an hour and a half from where we live, so we're gonna shoot over there now. And yeah, this I have a feeling this is probably gonna be similar to my Jap Fest video where it's literally just me looking at cars going, wow. Oh, look so. at that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's really nice. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I might do that to mine. So yeah, but I've never been to a Tuna Fest before, so, well, it's not just Jap cars, is it? So, no. so we're just gonna head over there now, and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We literally walked straight in, we were here, there was no traffic, nothing. So we've literally walked in, the entrance is there. So we've just looked at this bit here and here. But yeah, I'm just so shocked that we just walked literally straight in, bought a ticket and we're in. So yeah, let's have a look at some cars. <laughs> One day. Well, probably not because by the time I'd actually be able to afford one of these, the US would have got them and then the prices would be even higher than they are now. Oh, it's so sick. Carbon front wings. <laughs> carbon spoiler. Oh, that one's crazy as well. Also, carbon front wing, carbon bonnet. Look at the dish on the wheels. Midnight purple carbon front splitter. Such a nice colour in the sun. Looks so good. Look at this Evo with the crazy manifold. Do respect these uh, engine swapped vans. That's one in 230. Yeah, I didn't think I'd see one of these in, in real life. So crazy. Gated ship. Oh. Oh, so sick. I wonder, is that standard? I don't think so. I love the colour of the brakes actually. Super cool. The wrap's cool as well. The colour of this thing is sick. Rocker cover to match and everything. Some money has been spent. Seriously wide Supra. From here it just looks like the, it's the dish on these wheels. It's crazy. Madness. Rocket bunnies, 3 feet. Look at the ear. Look at the badge. I think this thing's big enough. Let me just uh, go for a lap around it. Just imagine how long this takes to clean. This thing, this is a full carbon GTR. It's even the badge is forged carbon. This thing is insane. Can you imagine how much this costs? I bet the carbon was maybe even more than the car. So we saw this driving in, this is paint. This whole car is paint. So also throughout today there's stuff going around the track. They're so quiet! <laughs> Craziness. So going out on track now, we're like, was it club class? Yeah, it's club class. There's a sick looking S2000 that we'll see that was first out. If you can see the roof of this Civic, that's Canada. Yeah, there's some sick looking cars in this one, so we'll grab some shots of this quick and then we're probably going to go walk around some more cars. It's my 
favourite shape M3 that, E46. These headlights are really cool, there's like a black, black, matte black on the inside, which I might do tomorrow. R35, McLaren 570? I'm going to get California C? I don't know anything about Ferraris really, but this, Speyside Blue, this is the one. This is the ultimate dream. Oh. Oh. George. This is it, innit? This is the one. Stunning 2002. That's insane. This purple is so nice. Vortex spinny things in carbon, full cage, same colour as the wheels. Oh, I didn't even spot the carbon front front wings. I think this is my favourite Evo I've seen so far. I'm a big fan of this. I just love the bronze with the purple. It looks so cool. Yeah, rate this. I have just realised that all I seem to do is look at the Jap cars, even if there's other cars to look at. So I apologise. But V Spec 2. Oh my God, there's an NSX here. Look at this. For the carbon scoop. This is my ultimate, I guess, family wagon. Um, this is gold for me. RS6 event. They're just so sick. You just fit all your stuff in them and they're so far. Oh, just super standard and clean EP3. And then this crazy EP3. I like the gussets on there. This is sick. Look at that in there. It's like a BTCC kit or something on this. It's so crazy. It's like wide and front mount intercooler. This must be so fast. Stop tech, big brake kit. This is crazy. Look at the wing. I love an S2000. Look at the wide action on this. Oh, whoa, look at the interior in this. That is so good. I saw the Supra at Jackfest and it's one of my favourites. I actually didn't see it with the bonnet up at Jackfest, so I, I'm glad I have seen it now. Wow. Jeez, look at the wing. The WRC wing. That's big. These are cool. I've always liked these. Shame that Vauxhall don't do more cool stuff like this. Full carbon front end. They seem to be just making videos about R34s and Skylines. This is a GTST, I think. This is a powerful colour choice as well. You really want to be seen with this. It's cool. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine just rolling around in this, it'd be sick. Everyone seems to have this spoiler in carbon. But look at the wing. I love the colour of this as well. So we just got back to the car because we're going to have some lunch, even though it is only quarter to twelve. I think we've seen most of the show, which is a bit of a problem as it's not even lunch time. We've got one whole section that we haven't been to yet, so we're going to have a look at that once we go back in. Probably look at more. Japanese cars at this show that has more than that. Right, so we've just finished lunch and I'm gonna look at a Civic over there. There's another Civic over there. We're gonna go back in and I think we're just gonna sit. Oh God. Whoa. We're just gonna go and sit trackside for a bit, chill out. And then we've soon got the, where well, we can go and walk around the pits and look at all the time attack cars that you can hear going on in the background. And then we're gonna look around that other bit that we haven't done yet. Then it's the drifting, right? Yeah, then it's drifting. Then after that, I don't really know. I think we might... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at this front lip. I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like it. It's a pretty meaty tyre setup and wheel setup, though. Right, 
Let's head back in, I guess. Look how sorry for itself my car looks when it got hit. If you haven't seen the, my last video, that's uh, I explained what happened here. Pretty upsetting, but yeah, it looks so low when it's on grass. Right, we are in the pits, and I think this is the booth for the F1 car. Oh my god, it is. This should be pretty awesome. There we go, this way. Look at the size of these brakes. Like, this is madness. I can't really um, like show you how big this wing is. There's my hand. But, like, I can't. I can't show the scale of it. It is huge. Looks so cool. Look at the lights. They're like <laughs> stickers with like a reflector in the middle of them. That is absolutely massive. Bentley Continental GT, GT3 car. Look how low the engines mounted. I bet this is super fast, K20 turbo in something this light. <laughs> Look at it. I just pulled all the cars out. This thing was so, so fast. Like, every time it came down the straight, it like scraped. The front splitter scraped. That's all the way from Canada, this car. That's nuts, isn't it? Just flown all the way over. And it's got like some tiny little fiberglass seat for the passenger. I think this is my favorite car. Look at the headlights. So, we are walking from the pit lane, right there, onto the track because why not? We're able to. I never realised that this straight kind of banks in this early. I always, I always thought this bit was flat. This is definitely way more banked than I thought it was going to be. It like fully slopes in way sooner than you think it does. And I also never realised how much of a dip like this first corner is. It's huge. This is so nuts. It's pretty serious. Front out into cooler. Air intake through the light. Oh, I like these wings. It's like, it's like bent in custom. That's well cool. A lot of carbon on this. Jeez. So, so crazy. That is also insane. This is a strong color. I love, it. love the carbon wing. Oh, it's all, yeah, right. This is what everyone should do if they have a 350 or 370, because I, I'm not a fan of the plasticky ones, the silver. Look at this guy, just right at the end. This is pretty clean. Just simple. The thing with Supras is you don't really need to do anything to them. They already look sick. Well, we've actually walked through the end. This is the drift taxi bit. So I guess the plan is look around this bit and then go and watch something happen on the track. Check the fibbing out on this wagon. Right, so our plan is head over there because the F1 car is just about to come out. Then after that's the drifting which is all on the top corners. So let's go. Strictly no tyres. <laughs> uh, right, let's make the mission all the way over to there. Shout out to Modified Weekly, I see you, I see you. It's cool to see the cars in person, rather than on just the videos.
the end of the drifting quick. As I don't know if you guys can see this on the straight. Basically, someone blew up something, and there's just the whole straight. The whole straight is covered in oil now. All the way down. There. All the way, literally all the way. So. Uh, they've called off the drifting. You've know, got to wait for them to clear that up before anything happens. And it's now started raining. Brilliant. Uh, a bit of a change of plan, as you can see. It started absolutely tipping it down. So we've decided to call it, really, because we've seen all the cars. The drifting got called off, and the next bit was like half four. And it's now, wow, well, it's ten to three now. And it's just like everyone started leaving because of the rain. And it's just like, if we leave it until after the drifting, there's just going to be so much traffic and stuff that we're just gonna get stuck in it heading home and if we've seen all the cars already there's no point in just waiting around for the drifting and stuff so we've decided to call it a bit early but I mean we have it been here since nine so that's like six hours of the show so we've done pretty well and that's gonna do it for this one guys so if you like this video give it a thumbs up drop a comment below what was your favorite car and I will catch you guys in the next video cheers guys <laughs>